Hello, it's Aga from RVs Artist. Today, I'd love to share with you my top websites where you can find materials for your projects. I divided this topic into two parts. So today I'm going to show you my favorite websites to look for materials and in another video I will show you other options to choose from. So let's start with the first one. This website is probably my favorite one to use in RVs projects and the quality they offer is really good. Anyway, let me show you what they have. So you can see that they have textures and pre-made materials. They support many render engines. They also have models, but this is not a subject of today's videos. HDRs, surface imperfections. Let's take a look at the texture section. You can see that on the left hand side, we have categories. They have plenty of them, so you will be able to find most of the materials you need. Let's take a look at bricks. You can see that they have some bricks generators available here, which means that you will be able to edit the materials to get different results. You can see that they have so many different kinds of the same type of material, different colors, patterns, clean new bricks, as well as more damaged ones, more or less glossy and so on. They also have a nice collection of cobblestones. You can notice that they have lots of different patterns. Similarly for a concrete collection, plenty of options. I really like these materials. They give really realistic results. By the way, this is not sponsored video and these are my personal choices. Marbles, lots of times are challenging to find the pattern that the client expects, but I need to say that here you can find a great number of the most common ones. Anyway, I'm not going to show you all of them, but the one that it's really worth checking is the collection of surface imperfections. This is what actually help you go to the next level in RVs. So here you will find practically everything you need to make your materials outstanding and super realistic. For instance, water droplets on the window. Or liquid stains to make your concrete wall closer to the natural look. Dirty wipes, so many options to choose from. The Photoscan collection is really impressive as well. You have all sorts of grounds, playing with leaves, roots, pebbles and so on. If you click on the material, you can see what is the credit for each of them. You can also choose the resolution you need. Here are all maps included in the material. You can see different previews on the sphere, cube, and flat map as well. Here you can go to the free section. Check it out so you'll see by yourself that the quality is great without any risk. In terms of pricing, you can choose a subscription. They have a few options here depending on your needs. Or credit packs options so you can choose the needed credit value. This is the next one, really worth looking at website. The library they offer is pretty impressive. So basically, they offer the materials, which you can adjust later on in the software to your needs. You can notice that they have a massive library with so many different types of materials. Some of them you even wouldn't think about. So do I. Like this material from the collection of Industrial Revolution. Awesome. You can also notice that they have free materials to download as well. If we go to materials, you can see different categories. Let's choose ceramic for instance. You can see that they have quite specific patterns here. That one is interesting. You can see the material potential here and the previews of the presets. 
Plus, you will be able to edit these materials by yourself by using their plugin. If you don't know this page, it's really worth it to take a look around and see the possibilities. If I go to Woods, for instance, you can see that we can find the materials that lots of the time are quite challenging ones to make them realistic, like wooden, for instance. Plasters are cool as well. They will definitely give a photorealistic look at your images. This section is quite interesting. So you can use this to create some details in the road. There are so many options here, so definitely check this website. Anyway, if you click buy now, you can see different types of licenses, so again, you can choose to your needs. There is also an option to try it for free. This website I've used from my early beginning of creating visualizations. I think I started to use it during my studies for my personal projects. Before they only offered regular photos, but now the library is much bigger. So basically they have special content and regular photos. Let's take a look. So 3D ornaments are the models, so I won't talk about this today, but you can check it out. But let's see 3D scans. Again, we have different categories here. Let's see the asphalt first. If you click on the material, you will be able to see different previews of the material, with the diffuse map or only the displacement. We need to agree that the results are quite impressive. This one is cool, isn't it? It would be great to add this to some exterior project. Here are some concretes. They're really cool. For sure, not all of them will be useful to create visualization of newly built residence, but for other purposes, like creating some old city image, it will be great. But these ones are much less damaged. There are plenty of different ones, so you can find almost anything you need here. There is a nice library of letters as well. You can see the details. That's really great. They also have some specific ones like the ornament wall. Or some cracks as well. Anyway, you can also find materials for the leaves here, which is quite interesting. They also have a section for PBR materials. Let me show you this one for instance. I just scroll through a bit to give you an idea. Overlays are sort of like surface imperfections. You can find some cool here as well. They have PNG decals to choose from, so you will be able to mix them up with different maps. Besides this, they also have regular photos to use as a texture. They are not great, because here you generally have the maps to use as a diffuse, so it will be hard to create pretty outstanding materials from them, but it's good to keep in mind, because sometimes they can save you some time and you can use them. So basically, if you choose the category and the texture you're interested in, you will get all options of the texture included. There are low-res textures to download for free, or high-resolution textures for different credits. You can take a look to have an idea what to expect. Anyway, let's see the pricing. You can choose the license type based on the purpose. And again, you can take a subscription or a credit pack. You can choose from different plans that suits your needs the best. This one is pretty cool. Lots of different companies from movie and game industry uses their stuff. Let's take a look. Here you can see the video game and I think somewhere below they have movies listed as well. Anyway, we can go to the mega scans and check what they have. I would go straight to surfaces, but if you have time, take a closer look at other categories as they have pretty cool things. You can see that there are plenty of categories.
This one seems cool. Let's check it. You can see the quality of these materials. They are really good. Let's go to something more common. Fabric. Maybe leather. You can see what results you can expect. There is much more. I am always so impressed by the quality of the materials. They are so good. Okay, we can also take a look at the imperfections section. Plenty of options. This one is cool. That's great. These placements are pretty cool as well. I'm sure you will be able to use it a lot in your projects. I highly recommend to check this website. If you click on the subscribe button, you will go to the pricing section and again, you have a few options to choose from. Okay, that's it for today. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you would like to see the second part of this video, which will include more great websites to check. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.